Hi, my name is Jared and welcome to another video. Let me ask you something. Do you think that our school system is the only way to survive? Going to school, having a good grades so that you can find a good job. The system that is uh, that was installed in our minds a long time ago. But what if we don't want a job? The problem is that school does not teach basic financial skills. Because it does not teach those skills, many kids leave school without a winning financial formula. In fact, many live with losing financial formula. Many young people today leave school with credit card loans or school loans and many never get out of them. They may leave school well educated but they also leave school without one very important formula. The winning financial formula for their lives. What I'm trying to say, actually, is Sana meron tayong educational system na magtuturo about how to find or how to become an owner. How to become a employer. Na they want to Money works for them, not, not like just looking for a job that are working for money. The problem is, our current educa educational system recognizes only one genius. Our school system is designed to teach some kids, but unfortunately, it is not to teach all kids. The school system recognized primarily one, primarily one genius, and that is the verbal linguistic. Verbal linguistic is a genius that is educational system currently used uses to measure a person's IQ with his ability to read and write. Diyan tayo nagbe-base sa ating IQ. Na instead, pwede, pwede bang uh, maraming uh, dapat na pagkukunan ng genius like sa sports, like sa uh, uh, like uh, acting, like uh, music, like uh, intra and uh, interpersonal skills. In the real world, there are all there are, there are two sides of the table the one that applies for a job and the one that hires them the owners so which side of the table you want but what the most people did not see is the side of the owner if you only sit beside the employer side, you will know how many people struggle just to find a job. Most people never learn the lesson. Most people go to work, collect their paycheck to paycheck, collect their uh, go to work, collect their paycheck to paycheck, and go to work, collect their paycheck to paycheck forever and never learn the lesson. Why? It is because in your mind a program to go to school and find a good job. Kahit pagod ka na sa trabaho, kahit pa ikot-ikot na sa trabaho, kahit boring na yung trabaho, kahit roti na yung trabaho, you don't have choice. Wala kang choice. Dahil yan ang naka-install sa inyong mind. Our self-perception that having a job is the only solution. And if I don't go to school, 
you can find a good job you cannot survive most people leave school looking for a job and that is why we find a job because that we perceive that's what we perceive what you look for in your mind is what you find in the real world people who go looking for work often find work what is one of the first thing students leave school looking for ano bang hinahanap ng mga mag-graduate na sa pag-aaral usually the answer is they're looking for a job they look for a job yes they look for a job because that is what they have been programmed to do looking for a job they were studying hard to get a job why not study hard not needing a job studying hard not to need a job study hard to be an owner to be an employer because you know what we are now in the information age it's time to teach people to look beyond looking for a safe secure job in this age information age we need to be educated beyond just getting the skills that the employers are looking for informational age chances are our children will be technic technically obsolete at the age of like 30 so why not give them the financial skills teach them other side of the coin the other side of the table so they so so they can retire before they turn 30 they can retire early they have a choice they have a choice they need to study the subjects not taught in school learn more than just job skills that employers were looking for what was missing for the educational system a system that was designed to keep a steady flow of workers looking for a safe secure job but we never thought what the rich are doing we never thought people never thought the other side to sit beside the owners how would you know how would their lives be you know, have been different if they had been told you know get financial skills so that they can be an owner what I'm trying to say that we should have an educational system that teaches both the school system the old system and the other side we should have the skills to the other side and skills to the other side of the table so that we will able to survive they will be able to adjust our children will be able to adjust not just job searching so this is Jared saying that we need a solution not a problem thank you for listening thank you for watching God bless you and take care bye bye